Hey, what's up? It's Paul from Guitar World. Hey, has this ever happened to you? My strings are a mile off the fretboard. What am I going to do? Sounds like you need a truss rod adjustment, son. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a basic truss rod adjustment on your guitar. First order of business is to identify whether you need a truss rod adjustment. Generally, your neck should be somewhat flat and your action should feel comfortable across the fretboard. If it doesn't, it may be that your neck has moved. There are two ways that your neck moves. It could be a bowed neck, basically the neck is sunken in the middle of the fretboard, or your neck is back bowed. In this instance, the neck has risen and is hitting the string, causing the notes to fret out. It is also possible that your neck could have twisted. In that case, you're gonna to need to bring it to a guitar repair. Here's some rules to follow. Rule number one, if you don't know what you're looking for and you don't feel confident enough, then you may wanna consult a guitar repairman. But if you know your way around a guitar, then you can definitely do this. Rule number two, make sure you have the right tools. Of course, having a truss rod wrench or an appropriate screwdriver or Phillips head, as well as a capo and a tuner. Number three, locate where the truss rod is. In most guitars, it's found at the top of the headstock, usually hidden behind a truss rod cover, or it may be open. In the style of a vintage guitar, generally it's found at the base of the neck, right underneath where the rhythm pickup is. Remember this phrase when adjusting your truss rod. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. So you're gonna wanna turn the tr uh, your truss rod wrench in a right hand turn to tighten, make the neck flatter. So almost, if you're looking at it this way, you're going clockwise motion in a vintage guitar, and if you're looking at it this way, on, on this particular guitar, you're still going clockwise. So righty-tighty and lefty-loosey to loosen the truss rod. Adjust in quarter turn increments, tune to pitch, and then check the action. Last but not least, and this is very important, if you run out of truss rod, especially if you're loosening it and the truss rod is spinning, or if you're tightening it and you start to hear the neck creaking and it becomes very difficult to turn, stop what you're doing. It means that you have a bigger problem and you might want to consult a guitar repair. First, you're going to want to remove the truss rod cover if the truss rod is located at the top of the headstock. And for that, you'll need a small Phillips head screwdriver. In most cases, you won't have to remove the final screw at the top. Simply move it down so you, you can see the truss rod cavity. Now you're ready to make a truss rod adjustment. Fortunately for this guitar, it's done with an Allen wrench. And the thing you want to do is first clear a path so you can easily get inside the truss rod cavity. So simply move the strings away from the truss rod cavity to give yourself a little uh, wiggle room. Then you take the truss rod, insert it into the truss rod, make sure that you have a firm connection inside the truss rod. In this case for this guitar, we're straightening the neck a little bit. So that means, remember the phrase, righty tighty, lefty loosey. So I'm making a right going up, straightening the neck. And as I said before, quarter turns Tune to pitch. Check to see how the guitar feels underneath your fingers, but a good way to determine that is to hold the first fret in front of the nut and then the last fret, and then go right in the middle of the guitar and see how much bounce you have in the middle of the guitar. You should be able to insert a razor blade underneath the fret and the string, having that much play there. Another easier way, of course, is to use a capo on the first fret, hold down that fret, and of course, just feel where you're at right about the middle of the guitar so that you have enough play. One last thing, holding your finger on the last fret nearest, nearest the pickup, and of course, having the first fret capoed here, and testing how much bounce you have on the lowest string should equal the same amount of bounce on the highest string as well. If you do not have the same amount of play, 
that means your neck is probably twisted and you should see a guitar repairman. In this case, a quarter turn was all I needed to adjust this neck. But if the action still feels too high, go back and repeat the same steps using another quarter turn to get the action to where you want it to be or where the neck where you want it to be, whether you want it flat. Keep in mind, a flat neck is not for everybody. Some people like a flat neck because it's easy to play and it's easy to bend. Other people like a little relief in the neck, meaning having a little bit of play in the middle of the neck so that you can really do whole step bends or even whole step and a half bends. So they may like that just for that reason alone. So it's all personal preference. Now adjusting a neck on a vintage style guitar is a little more challenging because the truss rod is located here at the base of the neck, meaning I'll have to pop the neck removing the four bolts. Uh, there are some tools that allow you to not do that, like this Cruise Tools uh, neck cheat tool, which allows you to get inside there. If that works, great. If not, we're gonna have to remove the neck. There are two ways of doing this. You can loosen the strings or you can keep the strings in pitch. Uh, in doing so, if you wanna keep the strings in pitch, it's best to use a capo and put it on the first fret to keep the strings in place when you pop the neck. If you wanna loosen the strings all together, you can, it's just a longer, more time-consuming task. As you see, I've loosened the bolts. I'm gonna flip the guitar over and basically pull the neck out, like so. Exposing the truss rod. And what I'm gonna do on this neck is I'm gonna straighten the neck, and as I said before, righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. So, going right in a clockwise manner, I'm going to insert the screwdriver and turn a, have a quarter turn on this neck. Now that that's done, I'm going to put the neck back in place, turn it around, and screw the neck back in. Make sure when you're turning the screws back in place, don't overturn it, just push it to where you can't go any further. Do not over tighten your neck. Once everything is back in place, remove your capo, tune to pitch, check your action, and see if it's where it's at. If not, repeat the same process using quarter turns as well. Don't forget to check your action by simply holding the first fret and the last fret, and somewhere around the middle here, check the bounce and see if you have enough play. So that's it, you saw how easy it is to make an adjustment on your truss rod. It no longer has to be an intimidating process, but best of all, your guitar plays great once again. Good luck.